A picturesque and hilly terrain, Arunachal Pradesh is crisscrossed by innumerable mighty rivers and rivulets, once described as the hidden land. It has now opened its doors to outsiders, a sentinel of the country in the northeast. This ancient land finds mention in the early literature such as the Kalita Purana, the Mahabharata, and Ramayana. It is known that it was here that the sixth Dalai Lama was born on the soil of Arunachal Pradesh. The heights of the mountain peaks show a great variation ranging from 6,400 meters to 1,829, with the highest peak being 7,090 meters in Tawang district. The striking feature of the topography of the region is that the mountainous routes follow the river, excepting in the places where the mountainsides are very steep. The forests of the state are its most important wealth. A huge revenue is earned from them each year. In the jungles of Arunachal Pradesh, a large variety of medicinal plants are also available. The natives utilize these plants for treatment and cure of a large number of diseases. The territory and the people of Arunachal Pradesh had been isolated for a few centuries. Only after independence, Arunachal Pradesh government laid a high priority for the health services programs of TB, malaria, smallpox. Leprosy eradication received high priority. Initially, there's the, the local population, they had a lot of stigma. The local uh, name, term, term for the disease is known as Lune. Uh, Lune basically means it is a curse from God, the disease. So what we have been trying to educate to this population, population is that this disease is not communicable. If this disease is detected early, or in a very early stage, and treatment started then and there, and the, the results shown is very good, and uh, most of the patients, they are totally cured from the disease. This is a very old institution, started sometime way back in 1952. Even during the Chinese aggression of 62, these people stayed on here. And somewhere around 1991, when the science developed and the leprosy could be cured, and that is the time very advanced medicines were given to these people and rehabilitation has been very phenomenal out of i think originally maybe 50 55 inmates who have come from all over the place as you are aware that such height at about 10000 feet leprosy as such cannot flourish so it has to be a little tropical from down below that these patients have come to a sanatorium to cure themselves to rehabilitate themselves and i think they've done tremendous work here a lot of them are working today in government offices. They are looking after their own selves, their families. And this particular sanatorium has people staying with families here and doing something on their own. It may be agriculture, it may be government job, it may be some business. So I think they're reasonably rehabilitated now. Mamtas of Al Natal Pradesh, in a land which is not only blessed with the most breathtaking landscape, but as most exciting and worth knowing customs, traditions, and rituals. The people of Tawang are highly democratic, and each tribe has its organized institutions that maintain law and order, decide disputes, and take up all activities for the welfare of the tribes and the villages. The cases relating to theft land disputes and conflicts are settled by the village council. An offender is fined in cash 
and kind. L lawyer association is very peaceful. Sometimes crimes take place, but so far as local people is concerned, they do it on the heat of the moment, but immediately thereafter they realize their mistake, they repent for it, and before the court when they come up for trial, they straight away confess and ask the court to pardon for the first time. And court also take lenient view according to law in dealing with the, their cases. Tawang Mampas call themselves as Brahmi Mampa. They use the Tibetan script. They are believed to be the natives of the area they dwell in. Though the Tawang Mampa prefer to maintain community enugami, marriage with other Mampa groups is also allowed. Adult marriage is preferred and the modes of acquiring spouses are negotiation and courtship, the latter being more popular now. Besides, price is paid in cash and kind. पुराने जमाने में तो लड़की के पास कोर में जाके मान के ले जाता था पड़ोसी वाले जो पड़ोसी है अपना जो रिलेटिव है उन लोग जाके लड़की को कोर में मान के ले जाता था तो वहां पर जब बातचीत हो गया कि ये ये लड़के हमारा ये पसंद है और लड़की जो है लड़का को पसंद होगा कि नहीं होगा ये सब देखता था और कुछ दिन के बाद बात हो जाने के बाद कुछ दिन के बाद फिर लड़के का कोर से लड़का कोर में खबर आएगा कि ठीक है लड़की भी राजी है तो इस प्रकार से मैंने जब शादी का तय होता था तो हम लोग फिर बीच में उस लड़की को लड़का कोर में लेकर आता है तो उसमें तो बहुत लंबा चौड़ा हम लोग का सिस्टम आता है वो तो फिर आप लोग को वहाँ पर प्रैक्टिकल आप लोग को देखा नहीं है लेकिन सिस्टम जो इस तरह से है बीच में एक ले करेगा तीन दिन जैसे हमारा घर में बैठेगा फिर जाके अपना घर में जाएगा फिर कुछ दिन के बाद परमानेंटली वो लड़की को घर में ले आता है तो ले कर आके फिर अपना घर में रह जाता है तो हम लोग का उस वक्त तो लड़के को घर में कुछ संपत्ति देना पड़ता है कि ये लड़के हम लोग का घर में ले आया और लड़के को घर वाला भी थोड़ा सा डिमांड तो खास नहीं करता है फिर भी अपना नेम है कि एक आदमी जो है हमारा घर में लेकर आया है तो कुछ तो देना चाहिए बोल के तो कुछ देके वो लड़के घर में विदाई करके भेजता है तो वहाँ का लड़के का घर वाला हमारा घर में तीन चार दिन रहता है और बड़े प्यार से धूमधाम से खा पी के सब पस वाले मिल के खा पी के बैठता है तब यहाँ से लड़का को घर से कुछ सामान जो अपने दिल में आया वो दे के है लेकिन आजकल एक ये हुआ कि अभी यंग जनरेशन लोग अपना अधिकतर तो प्यार में लड़की लड़का को देखा और लड़का लड़की को देखा अपना आपस में प्यार हुआ और अपना दोनों प्यार में बैठा लड़के घर में जाकर बैठा या लड़का को घर में बैठा कुछ लेन देन नहीं है इन केस ऑफ द बर्थ ऑफ अ बेबी अलामा इज इनवाइटेड to read from the scriptures and to name the baby jab janam hoga janam hoke chahe larka ho larka ho ya ladke ho uska mane thoda sa difference hai jaise ladki ka hone se aur janam hoke char din ke baad jitna hi porosi jo basti hai sab jaake mane blessings deta hai aur phir uska naam karan ke liye hamara jo lama the jaise engineer pandit ji bolte hain तो उन लोग को कभी कौर में इन्वेट करते हैं या तो हम लोग का तो मनिस्ट्री में जाते हैं वहाँ पर जाके उसका नाम करण करते हैं तो वो जो पंडित जो है उसी दिन को उसका जो नाम करण जो कर देता है जैसे हम लोग का किताब देखता है तो उस किताब में जैसे निकलता है 
पकड़ के उसको नाम करण करके उसको ब्लेसिंग देके और में भेज देता है और दूसरा एक होता है हम लोग का जो अवतर यानी पिछ लामा जो है उनके पास भी जाता है उनके पास जाके फिर उसको भी हम लोग नाम करण के लिए वो पिछ लामा जो है कुछ हाहियास करते हैं काट के फिर उसका नाम जो है आशीष नाम रखने में बोलते नाम दे देता है और एक तो माँबाप की ओर से एक प्यार का एक नाम रखता है कि हम लोग का ओर से नाम इसका ये रहेगा और दूसरा तो ये लामा लोग का नाम दे दिया तो इसी प्रकार से हम लोग का नाम ये बच्चा का जो है जन्म लेना है उसका नाम करण जो यही है द डेड आर आई द क्रोमेटेड और पेरिट और कट इनटू 108 पीसेस बिफोर बीइंग थ्रोन इनटू द रिवर तो कोई भी आदमी मर जाता है चाहे औरत हो या औरत तो हम लोग पंडित जी को लेकर आते हैं या लामा उसको लेकर आके वो अपना किताब देते हैं और किताब में जैसे निकलता है उसको पानी में फेंकना है या तो जलाना है या तो खराना है या तो पहाड़ में ले जाना है तो उसको किताब का मुताबिक हम लोग ये उसका जो मर गया है उसका करते हैं तो उसको पानी में ले जाएगा तो एक सौ आठ पीस करते हैं एक सौ आठ पीस एक सौ आठ पीस करने का मतलब है हम लोग का जो माला है उसमें भी एक सौ आठ पीस होता है तो उस सब के मुताबिक उसी के मुताबिक हम लोग आदमी को भी एक सौ आठ पीस करना पड़ता है और कोई जो है मरने से आगे बता के जाता है चाहे लामा का किताब में जैसे भी निकले हमको ऊपर पहाड़ में चिड़िया है उसको हमको दान कर दीजिए मेरा शरीर को दान कर दीजिए तो जब पहाड़ में ले जाता है तो वो पहाड़ में लेके उसको आठ एक सौ आठ पीस करके काट के और चिड़िया को दान करते हैं न्यूक्लियर फैमिलीज आर कॉमन बट एक्सटेंडेड फैमिलीज आर ओल्ड साउंड ओल्ड सन्स इनहेरिट पेरेंटल प्रॉपर्टी बट दी एल्डेस्ट एंड द यंगेस्ट गेट अ लार्ज शेयर Generally, the eldest son succeeds to the position of authority held by his father. The youngest son is expected to look after the parents in their old age, and the parental property goes to him. The costumes and adornments of the monsters are many and varied. Besides the usual costumes and applique, they have special dresses. For festivals, religious dances, and other ceremonial occasions, the dresses of the lamas and the nuns are different from those of the commoners. The whole body is covered with a coarse variety of cotton and woolen garments. The head and foot are covered with a dome-shaped skull cap and a pair of boots, respectively. Ornaments made of silver are very popular among them. ये है मतलब हम लोग का ये याक का चूल का काट कर इसका टोपी बनाता है और जैसे अभी इसमें ये मोटा का का बनाने से जहाँ भी हम लोग लोड बुक कर जाना पड़ता है पार में चढ़ना पड़ता है इसमें हम लोग का मतलब ये माथा में दर्द नहीं होता है और फिर ये पानी जीने से जैसे आपना बुक में मतलब नहीं आता इसी के लिए म और जैसे अभी ये हम लोग का पहले का रिवाज का है ये माला है तो मतलब हम लोग पसंद पहना बोलते हैं तो ये जो हम लोग का यहाँ तो नहीं बनाता है लेकिन हम लोग पहले ये टिबेट से आता है लेकिन हम लोग का बहुत पहले मतलब जमाना से इसका जो है हम लोग का रिवाज चला वाला है अभी जैसे ये कपड़ा है ये कपड़ा तो हम लोग का यहाँ नहीं बनाता है लेकिन पोटान में बनाता है पोटान से आता है हम लोग खींच कर मतलब वो लगाता है अच्छा ये जूता है ये हम लोग का मतलब बेरा का उनका जूता बना वाला है तो बेरा का उनका हम लोग बहुत मतलब उसको मजबूत वो कर कर बना कर फिर उसको हम लोग अपना एक जो अपना पहले का एक जो मशीन होता है उसमें मतलब इसको कपड़ा बनाता है कपड़ा बना कर फिर इसको सिले करता है सिले करके जूता का नाप कर सिले करके बनाने का बाद फिर ये याक का चमड़ा का मतलब पीछे में जो लगाया है ये याक का चमड़ा का जूता लगाया है अभी ये ये माला है ये जो हाथ में ये जो पकड़ा है ये अपना धर्म का है तो अपना धर्म का जो है इसमें एक एक इसमें एक सौ आठ है तो इसमें एक एक करके जिसके कर कर आपना हिसाब में मतलब वो कर कर धर्म का आपना वो हिसाब लगाते हैं। अरुणाचल प्रदेश 
is a land of beautiful handicrafts comprising a wide variety. Artistic craftsmanship has been passed on from one generation to the other. A wide variety of crafts such as weaving, painting, pottery, basketry and wood carving flourish here. of Tawang make beautiful masks. They also make exquisite carpets and painted wooden vessels. They weave articles that are in common use in their daily life. The shawl and jacket, shoulder bag and coat all stand for the perfection that the people have attained in this art. Weaving is the occupation of the women folk throughout the territory. They have an excellent sense of color. The basic colors that dominate the weave are black, yellow, dark blue, green, and scarlet, all put together in the most fascinating combination. Originally, natural dyes were used, which today have given way to synthetic dyes. The designs are essentially geometric, varying from a formal arrangement to lines and bands. Items that could make excellent buys are shed loop and shawl. The speciality of the Montas is carpet weaving with exotic designs of dragons, geometric and floral patterns. Carpet weaving has today become a major occupation of the women folk and with an increase in demand, production of the carpet is now being undertaken on a large scale. Carving is a tradition with some of the tribes of the state. The Monpa woodcarver scoops out beautiful cups, dishes, and fruit bowls. And magnificent ceremonial mob for dancers and pantomime. are experts in doing fine work in cane and bamboo, making baskets of varied types, including bottled containers of cane, water and liquor. With a view to help developing arts and crafts and to substantiate the livelihood Local boys and girls 
are imparted trading in specially set up craft centers. The rich heritage of arts and crafts of Arunachal Pradesh is sure to add color to the cultural heritage of the country. Revival and revitalization of these traditional handloom, handicrafts, and similar industrial endeavors was the basic aim of industrial development immediately after post-independence period. जो टाउन सिटी ब्लॉक है, बहुत ही एक रिमोट डिस्ट्रिक्ट में लोकेटेड है। हमारा जो ब्लॉक का जिरिडिशन है, ये तो वंग हेडक्वार्टर का जो सर्कल जिरिडिशन है, वही है। हमारा इसमें ब्लॉक में जितने भी सेंट्रल स्पॉन्सर स्कीम्स हैं, जैसे आपका आईआईडीपी स्कीम्स, उसके बाद इंप्लीमेंटेशन स्कीम्स, मिलियन वेल स्कीम्स, जवाहर रोजगार योजना, इंदिरा आवास योजना, ये सब पूरा हम चलाते हैं। In spite of the difficulties, small and medium scale industries have come up, most of which are forest-based industries. A number of measures have been taken to promote the growth of industry. The Monpa society is very deeply enriched in traditional songs, dances, and pantomimes. Festivals form an essential aspect of the social cultural life of the people of the state. As a matter of fact, festivals are the mirror of the people's culture. Since agriculture is the mainstay of the population, naturally, the festivals celebrated by the people are closely connected with their occupation. Such festivals are celebrated at a larger scale for thanking the gods for their providence and for saying a prayer for a bumper crop. The Luzar festival of the Monpas, which is their new year, is celebrated for five days. On the eve of the festival, people clean out their homes to usher in the new year and to discard the old. During these days, prayers are offered for prosperity and good health. The festivities include the hoisting of religious flags atop their homes. the community, the Monpa community also celebrates lots of festivals and uh, Losa is one of the festivals they, they celebrate and uh, from Losa itself you will come to know the meaning mm. of the festival. Uh, Lo means year, Sa is new, so that means it's new year mm. and it's like any other community, it's also according to the lunar calendar, we celebrate on the first month of every year. 
So now this year it is 2,126 years. That means the Rosa has been celebrated for so many years now. Then in Trans-Himalayan region, in that the, where the Buddhist populations are there, from in India, you, you can say from right from Ladakh mm. to Arunachal and Sikkim, mm. people celebrate Rasa. But in Sikkim, you will find uh, they celebrate Rasa one month ahead of us. But uh, basically, it is uh, started with a harvest, post harvest uh, festival, and gradually it came to be known as a New Year. Only. So generally, we believe. That the poor, even the poorest of the poor, they will ensure that at least first three days are celebrated. Nobody goes for work. Everybody prepares for this festival right from uh, the last month of the visiting year. The songs and dances are some of the media for entertainment and refreshment in society. During the festival, magnificent and multicolored masks made by them are worn by the dancers. The dances are accompanied by drums and cymbals. The popular pantomimes are yak, lion, and monastic dance. Each dance depicts some legendary stories and events. The monastic dances are performed by the mentors. The Monpas believe that if they cannot celebrate this festival, then they would neither be prosperous nor their life would be happy. The lightful appearance, colorful costumes, merrymaking, community feasts, songs and dances are the physical aspect of observation of festivals in the human society. This gives enough opportunity to recreate and prepare monsters to move ahead to face the challenge in life with more freshness and vigor.